hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in PHP how to bind data dynamically into HTML5 data list auto search element and here we got the final output notice when I mouse over on the text box control we got the small arrow if I click that one see the EMP names are binded into this data list element and this data list is a auto search element if I type V A R U N Varun if I type C Charan if I type Ben B E N Ben that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial, I'm using Notepad++. Notice in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML code with some header tags h1, h2, and horizontal line. Now, before adding the PHP functionality to bind the data into this data list element, let's check the output how it looks at designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that code which contains at this moment the header tags h1, h2, and horizontal line. Now my aim is, I want to bind the data dynamically from MySQL PHP My Admin database into HTML5 data list element. First let's visit the PHP My Admin database. The table name is the employee details which contains three columns EMP ID, EMP name and join date. I want to bind this EMP name column into data list element using PHP. So let's switch over to the Notepad++. After the horizontal line, I'm adding PHP code. Now inside this PHP code, the first thing I'm declaring the connection string variables of my SQL PHP my admin. Dollar host name is the first variable. The host name is a local host semicolon dollar db name is equals to the database name is sample db let's add that one sample db dollar username is equals to root and the last variable i'm adding the password the password field I left blank because I don't have any password to log into my SQL PHP my admin database. If you have any password, please enter that one. After that, let's declare the variable dollar con is equals to my SQL li underscore connect method. And this connect method takes four parameters all of strings host, username, password, and db name. Let's add those ones. The first one is a host name, comma. The second one is a username, comma. The third parameter is a password. I don't have any password, so I'm leaving blank only. The fourth one is a DB name, dollar DB name. Copy this one. And add between the double quotes the next condition I'm adding if the connection string is failed I want to display the error message if my SQL underscore connect error number is a method echo Connection fail dot my SQL underscore connect error method. If the connection is successfully established, now I'm declaring plug query is equals to my SQL underscore query method. And this query method takes two parameters. The first one is a MySQL link, which is a connection object, comma, 
and second variable is a string query here the string query is a command text select start from the table name is employee details let's add that one here after adding the select statement now I want to bind that employee details the EMP name column into data statement for that I'm using echo data list id is equals to single words dt list double quote semicolon echo I'm closing the data list element semicolon now inside this data list I want to bind the EMP name from this employee details so to fetch the employee name column for that I'm using while loop while dollar row is equals to my SQLI underscore fetch array method this fetch array method I'm adding dollar query variable Go. option I'm closing the option tag semicolon dollar row I'm binding the the column name EMP name between these square brackets EMP name that's it we have binded the EMP name column into this data list but to display on the browser we require a text box control echo input type is equals to within single quotes I'm adding such the type is and list is equals to in this list property I'm adding the data list ID which is a DT list copy this one and paste here let's close the input text box control semicolon the last step my sql underscore close method in this close method I'm closing the connection variable that's it let's save this file we'll check the final output on the browser I'm reloading the browser and here we got the final output notice when I mouse over on the text box control we got the small arrow if I click that one see the EMP names are binded into this data list element and this data list is a auto search element if I type V A R U N Varun if I type C challenge if I type ban B E and ban that's it we have binded the data from my SQL PHP my admin database this EMP name column into this data list element